Well, the shop got a much needed upgrade over the weekend and um, things should go by a lot smoother now that <clears throat> have a little color here in the shop. So yeah, my dad sent me this flag over the weekend and it really makes me want to just paint the whole shop red and white and just buy a bunch more Red Wings flags. And, oh, Jeff DeRio, I hope I'm saying your last name right. Um, Jeff sent me an older uh, Fedorov and Shanahan jersey, Red Wings jerseys. So I've got two jerseys that I'd like to make some frames for and maybe stick out on the wall here, somewhere on the wall here in the shop. So um, that's always cool. More red and white is never a bad thing. Unless you're like a, like a Bruins fan. Or a, who else is it? Uh, what are those 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 things in, in Chicago? Some type of hawks or something? I don't know. But in the meantime, shop's looking a little bit more red and white, which is really cool. And speaking of the shop, I rearranged things around just a little bit, not nothing crazy. Just trying to find a little bit better workflow in here, and I, I think I've got the workflow that I really like. Um, the this is the back wall, and I think I've already said this on one of these videos, but the table saw is over here on this back wall. You've probably seen it moved if you watch the table saw accessory cluttered shelf thingy project. Um, but the table saw is on this back wall. I can get around both sides of this outfeed table, and where the table saw was will be a miter saw station because I did get a new miter saw. I got a rigid 12 inch sliding compound miter saw. Um, I'm honestly not a huge fan of miter saws. Uh, sliding miter saws. I think they're a little bit overrated, but that being said, I'm really aggravated with that older model cobalt saw. It's it's an older model 10 inch sliding cobalt miter saw, and they don't sell it anymore. Obviously, they've done some upgrades in much needed places, but that one's kind of old, and it still has a lot of the crappy features that really just make it a rough cut saw. It's, it's not trustable enough to, it's not accurate enough to be a um, final length trim saw, I guess you could say. I don't think so anyway. Um, but anyway, enough tool talk for that. Oh, tool talk. Uh, I did give away that other little random orbital sander. Um, I'm not going to announce who the winners are every time I do that. It, it, it's just a, it's a raffle copter giveaway. And if you want to see who won, you can go back onto that other video to find out. So this week, I'm going to give away... This thing, this this little oscillating tool. And uh, I gave away some sanding pads with the sander. And I've got a little kit of different attachments for this thing I'll throw in the box too for you. So if you wanna have this, uh, United States only, continental United States, because shipping's outrageous and um, just a normal guy like you don't have a awesome desk job. I work for you guys. So can't really afford out of country shipping. <laughs> But it's a free tool for those who are interested in it and a little tool accessory kit kind of thingy and I'm just rambling again. So last week I said that Sunday would have been the doghouse project and that didn't happen. So basically every time I say the next project is going to be this, then expect it in like two weeks because that's pretty much what happens. I figured out and two things jumped in front of the doghouse. Uh, one was that little accessory shelf that I honestly didn't really plan on, but I figured why not use the opportunity to make a video out of it. And the second thing is a scrap wood project that I've actually already completed for this coming Sunday. And tomorrow I'm going to start in on the doghouse and I'm trying to get ahead because I've got a lot of other stuff going on that's gonna take my time. Um, and I really don't wanna miss it another week. So I've really gotta get ahead. And yeah, trying to get ahead. You see the Lions win? That was pretty cool. I didn't get to see it, but I got to listen to it. I was traveling, I was on the road, and they actually had uh, that particular game on ESPN Radio, which was pretty cool. So I got to listen to it, and I really thought Detroit shot, them, shot themselves in the foot again. Uh, a couple late penalties. Um, I think it was an illegal hand to the face or something like that, and I'm like, oh great, there they go, shooting themselves in the foot, and they're gonna kill themselves and not win, and blah, blah, blah. And, they ended up pulling, pulling it out and a little bit of help from uh, Drew Brees throwing an interception. And I think uh, they got another penalty against Reggie, Reggie Bush on a fourth and five or something like that that kept the drive alive. So it wasn't necessarily Detroit big time winning as much as it kind of was um, New Orleans helping them out a little bit. But nevertheless, it was fun to listen to on the radio because I never get to listen to them or watch them because of my location. 
of course, I'll never ever see hockey be able to watch the Red Wings down here because hockey in the South is pretty much non-existent, but that's another story. So I've been tossing around the idea to make a somewhat of a you know woodworker's workbench, kind of like a split top Rubo bench. Um, obviously pine two by fours because I really can't afford nice lumber um, and honestly don't have access to it around here, but that's another story. So hopefully this winter sometime I can make, I've got this idea for split top Rubo and on one side of the split top, I could have like a 30 inch moxin vise because my moxin vise that I made with pipe clamps just absolutely blown away at how how easy it or how easy it was to make, how cheap it was to make, and how well it works. Uh, and you know they make these those um, like 160, 170, 200 dollar moxin vise kits on the internet, and this is like dirt cheap with pipe clamps, and it does the same thing. So I really like the idea of using pipe clamps, and I want to incorporate it into a really heavy workbench that doesn't move around. I had the, the my sliding moxin vise on my assembly table for the longest time, as I did in the video. And I got to the point where I was just sliding the assembly table around. It just moves it around. It's not a permanent heavy structure. So I want to make a workbench that will accommodate that and also allow me to, you know, clamp, clamp panels down and work on panels and stuff like that. And I don't think I'll have an end vise at all because I think I can get around that by using two dogs in the moxin vise. Um, and two dogs on the other side of the bench, or however long you know the distance spacing, whatever, to where you're clamping. Um, typically, you see clamping on the ends of a, of a long board. Well, this way you'd clamp on the two spots on the interior or the, the width of a board. Hope that made sense. I'm horrible at describing things in these videos, anyway. But yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking about making. And I want a little tool tray in the middle between the, the split tops, and probably like a huge stack or two stacks of kind of shallow drawers. I need more drawer storage in here. I want more drawer storage in here because right now I've just got crap piled up in buckets and boxes everywhere. <clears throat> so in the past, I really made an effort to respond to every single one of the comments that you guys leave on YouTube. And here lately, I've really been slacking. I just have a million things going on, life's getting crazy, especially with my wife coming back and trying to have a little bit more family time. So if I don't respond to one of your comments immediately like I have normally been doing, don't take it personally, it's just life is crazy and I'll try to continue to respond to as many as I can. But um, here lately the comments have been uh, very, there have been a lot more comments than normal, which is a cool thing, don't get me wrong but I'll try my best to respond to every single one of them. So with that being said, I think I've said everything that I can say until the next time I need to say something. So let me say that I've got nothing else to say. So I'll see you guys later.